When they do this kind of thing in the movies, they make it seem as though a massive public situation is somehow really romantic and a prime spot for a proposal of marriage. In reality, this kind of insanity is basically just really manipulative. How much more likely is a person to feel pressured into saying yes if a whole football stadium is witnessing the moment? But the movies leave out that aspect of this weird trend. There seem to be about a million people who have tried such a strategy to ask their beloved to marry them, and unfortunately for them, it's not always a recipe for success. So before you trot off to the mall to try a spot of public humiliation, take a look at these videos. From a weird trend for fake proposal pranks to dangerously violent endings, here are 20 failed marriage proposals. Number 20. A famous YouTuber, Pretty Boy Frito, making a social experiment where his girlfriend rejects him in the middle of a shopping mall. Okay, so we're starting off with a proposal, that's a so-called social experiment, in which this YouTuber tests the public audience's reaction to the failed proposal. The idea behind this was that the guy expected that people would not help him out when he was rejected. He believed before he went ahead and did it that most people would be happy to see him fail, which is a sad indictment of society, really. So how did it go, though? Apart from the fact that the whole setup really sucked, if it was real, it would be pretty terrible of a way to propose. Let's face it, the guy was sadly right. Everyone in the shopping mall stood around for the spectacle, phones in hands of course, and just kind of stared. Many laughed and nobody really offered the guy any kindness except for one man. Now it sort of sucks to play with people in this way, and perhaps these kind of videos are conditioning people to see the whole world around them as a social media opportunity. I mean, who the heck would propose so publicly and not expect everyone to film and upload the event? That's just asking for trouble. But what do you think? Did this extremely unscientific experiment really prove anything, or was it actually set up to provide this exact result? Honestly, these marriage proposal fails will make you cringe, but what is the point in this kind of pretend nonsense? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Food Court Proposal Gone Bad Is this a thing now? Do people propose marriage in shopping malls all the live long day? Come on now, people. You need to step up your romance game at least a little. So here we are with a couple surrounded by random strangers at a food court in the mall. The height of romance, I'm sure. Then in comes a dope on a guitar playing Neil Diamond, like that's even sexy for Pete's sake. How was it a good idea to get a whole mall full of people bellowing bum 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 at this poor woman? No wonder she ran away. But yes, there are still plenty of people ready to laugh at this movement of pure mortification for both, but seriously, are you all some kind of perverts? Number 18. Wedding Proposal Fail it takes a special sort of arrogance to drag a woman that you supposedly love up onto a stage and then demand that she accept your proposal of marriage. That's the thing. It really puts that person on the spot and kind of sucks to do that in front of hundreds of people, don't you think? Perhaps it's just me, but it's the same principle as breaking up with someone in a restaurant so they won't make a scene. It's manipulative and it's garbage behavior. But what do you think? Perhaps you think this Darren guy is a hopeless romantic. Perhaps you are Darren, and you can't figure out why she literally ran away from you. Let's get into this in the comments down below. What's the point of an extremely public marriage proposal anyway? Number 17. Proposal fail, you won't believe what happened. 
this one, frankly, just looks like a piece of amateur performance art. In a town square setting, this young couple seemed to be mixed up in a bunch of tour groups or some such business. When this nincompoop decides to make this the moment to ask a fairly significant question of his young woman. This location may be somewhat lacking, to be honest. Apart from anything else, he didn't think to block the exits, so he gets down on one knee presumably asks her to marry him, and then she legs it. She turns and hightails out of there at such a high rate of speed oh my God. No. that I would say it's a resounding no, wouldn't you? Well, it would be if this didn't seem incredibly staged and totally phony. She has on sneakers ready to run. The speed at which she departs the scene is so very rapid that the words may have barely left this idiot's lips. I don't even know. What with all these prank proposals that we seem to be witnessing, this kind of looks like a poorly executed one of those now, doesn't it? What do you reckon? Does this whiff a fish or is this a bona fide backfire of a proposal? Let's figure it out in the comments section, shall we? Number 16. Wedding proposal fail, she says no. All right, so now there's a uh, distinctive pattern emerging here. Perhaps this is something to do with why these marriage proposals keep on failing. These massively public scenes are not exactly having the desired effect. Now, this guy, Jeremy, has decided that the stage at this Jesus Jam in front of a big crowd of people is the optimal location for a romantic and intimate moment with a woman with whom he wants to spend the rest of his life. Jeremy even says that that Marsha, which is his girlfriend by the way, absolutely hates being the center of attention and she will kill him for this. It doesn't take a genius to see how this is going to wind up for dopey old Jeremy. He then begins getting out into the longest and frankly most boring speech ever that takes care of you but loves you unconditionally and can guide you spiritually. Until he gets down on the requisite bended knee, he then pops the question and Marcia is decidedly unimpressed by the whole event, as she should be. I mean, come on, Jeremy. This is just embarrassing. Next, the MC then heads over with another microphone, as if he's conducting some kind of interview, and says, Marcia, he's asking you to marry him. Honestly, this is such a shamble. And then he pokes the microphone in the poor woman's face, and then you already know what happens next. Number 15 world's biggest proposal fail. If you've ever considered a middle of the shopping mall kind of proposal to be the pinnacle of romantic gestures, then perhaps the repeated failure of this technique is beginning to make you think again. If you still think this is a good idea, well, I think you're probably beyond help at this point. This dopey guy took the position that the best way to propose his marriage to the woman that he loves was by hauling a below average group of musicians to the center of the mall and getting them to wail and strum a jangle of flipping tambourines while he got down on one knee and mortified the said woman. It's genius, really. She's obviously unimpressed with his nonsense and shows her displeasure in a manner which can't even be misinterpreted. She wallops him on the head with a ukulele. It's well deserved. Truly make me the happiest person on earth. She then takes her leave and the guy lays on the floor for a moment as he contemplates his own humiliation. But there is a moral to this story. Humiliation begets humiliation, and a woman that you love always deserves better than a ukulele in the mall. Number 14. Marriage Proposal Gone Wrong Prank Fake marriage proposal pranks are all the rage amongst YouTubers of little imagination, but apparently you're all watching these pathetic videos. So here I am telling you all about them in an endless list of repeated pranks and genuine proposals gone wrong, like I'm stuck in a perpetual hell loop of moronic behavior and cringe-worthy, ill-conceived romantic gestures. Please, please tell me what it is about watching these idiots failing so hard that gets you all going. What sort of perverts are you really? So here we are at Auburn University in Alabama to witness a hilarious prank by this YouTubing numpty. This guy heads inside to get the crowd pumped up pre-proposal when his fake girlfriend turns up and he gets down on a bended knee. The whole cafeteria are behind him, ready to offer him encouraging words, but why in the heck is he doing this? 
Anyways, since this is a proposal fail prank, she's going to say no, which of course she does, and then the crowd offers condolences as she walks away. They post it all on social media and get on with their days. Please tell me what the point of this nonsense is. It's not even funny. Number 13. Marriage Proposal Gone Wrong She Said Get Out Ah yes, there's nothing like a heckler to get the old marriage proposal vibe going now is there? That's exactly what you need at a moment like this. Well, what did you expect when you decided to do all the proposing in New York City's Times Square? Apart from the fact that this kind of public spectacle is just asking for trouble, is this really the place that you want forever associated with your love? You know, a place historically associated with the seedier aspects of human entertainment and now a shrine to the most sacred of American activities, shopping, those intense bright screens all around you, obnoxious tourists. The lost and the lonely, all the fun stuff. Yes, that's definitely screaming romance and marriage. The heckler really gets stuck in as well. As the woman yells yes, because you have to yell to get yourself heard over the din of Times Square, at the guy to get up, they draw more and more attention from passing people, many of whom have settled in for the entertainment and have pulled up a seat. The heckler just keeps on going, all through the refusal and departure of the woman from the scene, and then continues to lay into the rejected guy. It's brutal, but then again, what exactly was this guy going for here? Number 12. Marriage Proposal Gone Wrong She Said No well, here we are again, another mall, another day, another proposal, and yes, another refusal. But is it any wonder, really? This time, we're with a couple in the middle of this shopping center, and the guy begins acting kind of crazy, gesturing to all the people around that he wants them to come closer. I mean, surely this is the point where most sane people would be heading away from the shouty man. But there you go, anything for the gram or the TikTok or whatever it is that your kids are into this week. So he musters a mini crowd of phone clutchers and flaps around in front of the woman in question. Eventually, after professing that he's no good at such things, <laughs> well, that's obvious now, isn't it? He then gets down on one knee and begins a bit of a speech, followed by the presentation of a ring. So far, so regular, even if embarrassing. But then it all goes kinda sideways. She says no and heads away from the scene of mortification. The crowd then uploads the precarious moment to the internet, and a couple of compassionate people head over to comfort the distraught man. The best thing about this is all the advice that concerned onlookers seem to have for the young man, and by the end of this, his lady friend has reappeared to discuss the perils of buying a ring without checking sizes first. You know, this ring is too small, and that's really a sign, she says. Number 11. Mall Proposal Gone Horribly Wrong so it seems that this woman is in agreement with me that the mall, well, it's really the very last place on earth that you should select to propose a marriage to a person whom you love. She's mad as hell about it. And yes, you heard that right, we are indeed at a mall once again. Seriously, what the actual hell is wrong with people? The mall is a terrible place for everything, even more so for a marriage proposal. As Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, you'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. However, this guy evidently did not get that particular memo, and he decided that this was how he wanted to declare his love and propose a life together. But the woman to whom he's proposing is taking absolutely none of the nonsense. She yells at him, and he seems kind of confused, but he likely hasn't gotten a whole lot of self-awareness at his disposal, so she yells a bit more and then wallops him straight upside his face. The thing is, we at the Fancy Banana would never advocate for violence, of course, but this lady is really expressing her feelings about the situation very clearly indeed. He then goes after her and she lumps him again, and I can't help but wonder what happened after this went down. What do you think? Did they visit the Great American Cookie Company, or did they part ways at the Dippin' Dot stand? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's have a good in-depth discussion about it all. Number 10. Another Proposal Gone Wrong 
Now, if you have a full nine and a half minutes of your precious life on this earth to absolutely waste watching yet another nincompoop pretending to propose in a shopping mall as a prank, then feel free to go and look this Wally up. He is enthusiastic about it, but frankly, and I know I'm beginning to sound like a broken record here, why? Why, oh why, are you spending your time pretending to propose in public? And why are we being forced to watch? He gets all togged up in a suit and whatnot, heads off to the mall, you know, that classic romantic destination for the unimaginative, and then gets the crowd gathered. That's the whole point of this nonsense, after all. If you're this desperate for attention, there are other options. How about joining an amateur drama troupe? Or if you love the mall so much, what about bringing back the flash mob? This stuff is so lame that it's embarrassing. Anyway, this guy pretends to us that he's actually going to be doing the proposing, leads the crowd in the same direction, and ultimately the woman to whom he's pretending to propose quote unquote rejects him, and yada yada yada. You know how it goes from here. The big reveal that we've sat through nine and a half minutes of rubbish for, he was only pretending. Ha ha ha, it's comedy gold. <laughs> <sighs> Number 9. Woman proposes to boyfriend in a mall and he said no. It isn't always just dudes who are doing this insane mall proposal business. Women do sometimes lose their damn minds as well. This woman has chosen the prime spot at the bottom of an escalator in the shopping mall for the big old grand romantic gesture of public mortification. It's a classic spot. She's down on one knee, as is traditional at the mall, and there she stays for what feels like an eternity. She kneels. He seems to back away further and further, to such an extent that it's not immediately apparent to whom she's actually proposing marriage anymore. Nothing awkward about that one at all. Definitely nothing to see here. And so, after an eon, he then finally approaches her, helps her to her feet, and then tells her no, to which she begins to yell and run off through the mall. Seriously, this is never a good idea. Why does everyone keep doing this? Number 8 man freaks out and becomes violent after his proposal is rejected. Now, as if it wasn't aggressive enough to propose marriage in such a manner, this idiot goes a step further and actually breaks out the physical violence as well. It really does seem that if you break out the confetti cannons and bring a bunch of roses, not to mention kneeling in a puddle in a public space, then the woman in front of you should fall down in a swoon and accept your proposal gratefully. Well, no, not actually. And this young man is not only misguided in his belief that this is an appropriate method of declaring one's love, he's also under the belief that this woman owes him something. She absolutely does not. As it becomes apparent that she is not going to say yes, despite all of the hoo-ha that he's created in her honor, the guy gets aggressive, first by grabbing her arm and behaving in a threatening manner, and then when she escapes his grasp and runs away, he loses it completely. This plonker sets about chucking stuff around and pushing things over, while people around him try to wrestle him away from causing any more carnage. This behavior not only sucks, but it's indicative of a garbage attitude towards women as well. Number 7. Marriage Proposal Yep, you guessed it, gone wrong. Think of some romantic places. Maybe you came up with some slushy stuff like a beach at sunset, the top of the Eiffel Tower, you know, the cliches and all that. But did you think about a busy intersection on a dusty highway? Probably not, because it's a terrible place to propose marriage. This guy though, well, he didn't quite think that one through. He's taken it upon himself to get down on bended knee to a woman in the middle of a busy roadway and has a friend filming the whole sorry event on a phone. All 13 minutes of this hideous state of affairs. He looks kind of taken aback, perhaps by the terrible choice of location, perhaps uh, the 
the guy's just a total creep, or maybe it's both. Either way, she's not exactly eager to accept his proposal of marriage and dash off down the aisle with him, so she turns him down and then tries to go about her business. This Wally, though, proceeds to pursue her through the streets, and as they go, he makes more and more of a spectacle. They gather people along the way, and creepily, many of them try to persuade the young woman to accept his request. Seriously, this guy is not exactly showing himself to be a catch at this point now, is he? The aggressive pursuit then results in the man laying on the floor, shouting, continuing his desperate attempt to convince the poor woman to marry him. It's not cool at all. And despite what the movies may tell you about this kind of stuff, it is in no way, shape, or form romantic. It's basically stalking. So stop it. Stop it now. Number 6. Marriage Proposal Gone Wrong She Said No and Walked Away Again, with the proposal in the street, at least this time it's on the sidewalk rather than the previous nonsense, but even so, all this public proposing gone wrong seems to focus quite heavily on the spurned individual, but sometimes having to turn down a marriage request can be upsetting in and of itself. Like this one, for example. The young woman to whom the guy is proposing is evidently sad to have to turn down this kneeling chap's proposal. Perhaps it was the pavement setting, or perhaps it was the dude himself. Either way, there are plenty of people hanging around to make sure that this horrible moment is forever immortalized on film and on the YouTube. So no matter how much they try to forget this ever happened, there it is for the whole world to witness. And why exactly do we want to witness it? I could have gone the rest of my days without needing to see all these people at these moments, perhaps some of the worst of their lives so far, and I would never have felt like I missed out on anything. Why is this such a thing? Number 5. You'll never believe it, this is yet another marriage proposal gone wrong. How do you really feel about watching these videos? I mean, do you get some sense of satisfaction from seeing other people's failures? Do you enjoy watching others suffer? What exactly kind of pervert are you really? This time we're witnessing another public proposal that's gone sideways. The woman on the receiving end of this particular question is super angry about it. Just what her issue is remains kind of unclear. What do you reckon? Is she cross about the weird public spectacle or the video phone guy shouting at them? Or does she just think this guy is a proper pillock? Or perhaps it's something else altogether. Gather your thoughts and bung them into the comments section down below, or just yell at me for calling you a perv so much. Whatever you like to do. The finale of this one, when she launches an entire cake at his head, is kind of hilarious though. Perhaps I'm getting carried away on this special sort of misanthropy after all. Number 4. And again. This time the proposal is taking place in the middle of the basketball court live on television during an NBA game. Some guys really have a whole lot of misguided confidence. If you're going to do something that is literally getting a professional commentary and being viewed by thousands and thousands of people, then make sure it's not this. The woman to whom this man is proposing is basically mortified by the whole spectacle, and the guy is likely going to be scarred for life after such a massive public rejection. They're both going going to hate basketball after this as well. Again though, even though this might seem to work in the movies, remember that you're not a fictional character and this is not a made-up story. Even the commentators suggest that this is almost impossible to say no to under such pressure, but that many people might well change their answer as soon as they leave the arena. So you know, this is probably a bad idea, even if you do really love basketball. Number 3. And indeed, once again, Finally, some slapstick comedy to lighten things up after all the humiliating rejections. In this video, we have an attempted proposal in a gondola. Now, this might seem to be a more romantic spot, probably mildly embarrassing for the gondolier, but he's probably used to this sort of thing. No doubt he witnesses umpteen proposals every week, but it is still fraught with difficulty. There's this public setting, but for the most part, that doesn't seem to be so intrusive. The gondola ride itself is sort of semi-private if open top, and the thing with this scenario is that the gondola is a boat, 
a long, thin boat, and it's a rather wobbly kind of vessel to say the least. The gondola is designed to maneuver through the narrow canals of Venice, not to be especially stable. The gondolier, who seems so steady on his feet, well, he's had a whole lot of practice, and this guy with the romantic notions of boat-based marriage proposals, well, he's new at the gondola lark and hasn't quite thought this one through. So that's how he leans forward, clutching the engagement ring to the apparent delight of his lady companion. <laughs> that one's kind of new, isn't it? And then the next second, he's ditched it headfirst into the canal. Perhaps not quite the romantic moment that he had planned, but it will no doubt be memorable, and at least it looked as if the woman was actually happy. Number 2. Failed Marriage Proposal at the Stadium Oh my goodness, just don't try this at home. This woman drags the object of her affection out to the center of the football pitch before the beginning of the match and gets herself on the microphone. This is intensely cringy and really kind of gross. And after making a long speech, who knows what she's actually saying, I think that might be German she's speaking, but honestly, I don't know. And then she gets down on one knee in the classic format and produces a box that presumably contains an engagement ring. The mortified guy stands there like a rabbit in the headlights as she pops the question, and then he legs it towards the tunnel and makes his escape. That is probably fair enough after some such embarrassment in the most public of arenas and live on television as well. In fact, the cameraman, who's down on the pitch, actually chases after the poor guy as he runs away. This is one heck of a shambles, and it just goes to show, yet again, that this is a terrible idea. Why do so many people keep doing it, though? Number 1. Marriage Proposal Rejected in Public How are you doing out there? If you're still here, then these embarrassing moments must really be working for you. Tell me how that's going. What is it about this stuff that you like? Seriously, let me know all about it in the comments down below because I genuinely want to know your thoughts on this. Here we are at our final cringe humiliation fest, and it's kind of a pathetic one, as if all the others weren't. And he's got his girlfriend up on a stage in what looks like the middle of town, and he's set about executing his proposal plan. Flowers, check. Embarrassingly public location, check. Way too much confidence, check. You know by now how this one goes. He spent a veritable eternity wobbling on one knee, arms outstretched with the ring, just like in the movies, you know, and he just keeps on talking and talking. Mercifully, we can't hear what he's saying, or this would likely be even worse. The young woman just stands there saying nothing, probably super stressed out, until she eventually shakes her head. But the guy keeps on going, and it is awful. In the end, she then turns and clambers off the stage, leaving the flowers behind. There you go. Run. Run for your life. Wow, what a collection of asshats we've been unfortunate enough to witness here today. How did all that cringing make you feel? Have you learned a valuable lesson about how real life really is and how it's kind of different from the movies? As always, tell me all about your own public embarrassments in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.